kings of culture. What's going on, everybody? What, 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 what's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Steve. It's Steph Crystal. What's going on, everybody? What's the king of the happy dance of the morning, yo? Are you going to shut up so we can answer? So shut your beat. So we're talking about black women. How could I forget? This is the Minority Plus One Podcast. Yeah. yeah. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the show. It's the king of the Heffries. It's, it's Oreo. Oreo. We are back once again, podcasting to you. And as always, we got the ladies. Yes. I, f- I feel like you, you, you. you could do better than that. Yes. Thank you. Uh, oh, my Lord. No, wait. First of all, you were one of the, the number one people that hated that. Now, anyway, he's your host, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's, 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 it's Brittany Bitch. <laughs> and he's your host, Steve. And this, this is, is the Minority, minority Plus One Podcast. Yeah. yeah. Disclaimer, yeah. bitch. Again. Again. Ah. Again God damn with the damn disclaimer. I fucking hit Check. these two up the Check. other day, and I said, ladies. I want nothing but fun topics. Why? Nothing but Can fun. Can you explain why? I, I, the, the simple is, I'm tired of everything. I don't want. I don't. I, I don't want. Are you I, depressed right now, Steve? You have no fucking idea. Oh, Snookies. No. Oh, shall we? Yeah. Life is, life is all I gotta life tell is you, is this is the reason why right I don't now. share shit. So, life all is no, saying, we're all depressed. I just wanted to. The just world is depressed. Fucking have a fun time. This is straight from the hit, baby. No show prep. No fucking nada. Disclaimer, I mean, baby. This true. is taking it back. Fucking old school. Okay, I, yeah. There's I some show about, prep. Yeah, all you, I'm saying Steve. is, we here. <laughs> we did guys, show prep. How was everybody? Everybody's motherfucking week. <laughs> we did show prep. It was uh-huh. cool. It was cool. Right. It was fine. Um, rainy and gross out. Right? It was um, rainy yeah, it was, it was rainy and gross. Pretty hot. Hot, humid. It was the Fourth of July. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve's favorite day. Yeah. Um, Hell he said, the he sung, fourth. He sung that uh, Miley Cyrus party in the USA. If y'all can see me in my stop. house, he wouldn't stop. We didn't put your hands up. Play my song. The butterflies fly That's away. Right. Popping in like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is my shit too. I sung that at karaoke one. Yeah, uh, I can see it though. That's, that's the funny part. The funny part it's about a party it is that in I can the see USA. It. Yo, just me and my boxers and some sparklers, baby. Yeah, Steve, that's a show. Put that on your OnlyFans. Hi, <laughs> okay. all right. They ain't ready for this. They ain't ready for this. <laughs> anyway, yeah, not much. Not much this week. Yeah, not, not for me. Not no. for me either. Mm-mm. Had to talk yeah. myself off the ledge, but that's a whole nother thing. Oh, man. We're here for. Fun times. All right. So, so you want to get into some minority support? Absolutely. All right, y'all. So as you know, minority support is a segment that we read uh, supporters messages and comments. Let's so just keep of it course a our guy, It's Leo. the Leo hour. It's the Leo hour. <laughs> so <clears throat> you want to read this one, Britt? Because it's the one he sent to you. Okay. So he sent me, did you really reference Miss Frizzle for Magic School Bus regarding the Canadian wildfires? <laughs> And I was like, she's like, I can't okay, wait to clip, clip that, that scene, scene because yes, absolutely, I did, I did because <laughs> the fuck you thought. Um, <laughs> That's a fact, though. That was a good one. Miss Frizzle would have been on it. The fuck you she, thought. She would have did the science <laughs> to figure out what started wildfire. You know. None of this would be going on if Miss Frizzle was a real person. If she was on it. <laughs> um, but he also said, my tinfoil hat moment. They are burning all the trees to make room for more cannabis plants and sell it all over. Over, that would be huh. a dream huh. um but i don't think so leah which is awful because the poor animals in our poor know. Home, so. oh yeah because this I, this house that you live in just was just here fucking for centuries okay steve well yeah, no, please stop acting like we give a fuck <laughs> so, about animals okay. Let's so stop with this whole why don't shit. you take it back yeah. to so nigga what you want to be will smith and i am legend you want you want to invoke the virus that killed everybody and there's a fucking line in times square is that what you want <laughs> sam then make the it way happen. i have been feeling <laughs> jesus if I Mary could, and Joseph. I fucking would. Jeez I really Louise. did side with Thanos. Anyway. I promise you. Oh, really? Anyway. It would be more than you half You Thanos though. bitch, man. I, you man. side with Thanos? All up in Thanos' ass. You side with Thanos? I... You wanted that galactic like ass. That. You wanted that galactic 
galactic purple ass. Just like that. Oh, you want a galactic on. purple Brittany, ass. With ease. Well, no, you want to get in there, ease. Yeah. See, but ease. <laughs> Oh, I see, 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 if you hate people, that's not yeah. good. That's t- anyway, <laughs> the rest of it. All right. <laughs> so, he said, Titanic movie was good, but it was so long, and Celine mm-hmm. Dion's song was so overplayed. No, I would be okay watch your mouth, Leo. If they never, never played play that, that movie, movie song. and song again, but that's just mean. Ooh, that's Queen Celine. Steve, he's coming at your girl. Now, Leo, so. I like you. I rock with you, man. But listen, I you mean, know. he wasn't disrespectful, so I'm not going to go in on him, but that's Queen Celine. All right. I mean, she's off, she's Celine. off limits, like John Wick. All right, Keanu Reeves and Celine Dion. All right, yeah, they're off limits. Off limits. <laughs> all right, so Leo <laughs> writes. So on this, on last week's episode, we also talked about working from home. He says, "I see your point, but the work from home situation is very subjective. Me myself, I can't work from home. I never get anything done. I rather play video games, watch Netflix, and cook. LOL, which is." You have your moments. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but don't get it twisted. It's still productive. Anyway, it also depends on the industry. Customer service, yeah, work from home is good. To Steve's point, um, game uh, developers can work from home, but look at 20 and 23. 2020 and 2023, the quality of games dipped and major game developers settles on remakes and remasters instead of new IPs. I don't know if you realize that, Steve. Yes. You're a game player, right? Yeah. Would you say like an updated game? That's the old eh, Like, I'm not like... Like a gamer gamer like I used to, right. but I do try to keep up with things. Yeah, so I follow a lot of gamer channels for okay. sure. So would you say, would you agree with what he's, he's saying? He's 100% like, correct. Wow. He is 100% correct. Interesting. All because the money these, these games make and how much they cost, oh, they're like $80 for a game. Yeah, but do you know how much production goes into them? But I'm saying, for, I understand really, that. It's movie quality production no, I that goes into that. these so games So why now. is the, qua- like he's saying the quality has dipped. It has dipped because you... The way ideas flow Mm -hmm. in an office building when you're working together, it can't be emulated via this. Right. Like so for instance, like when when I when I was like Sam, like when I was like, yo, I wanna move and um you're like, Oh, we can still do the pod and you could just Skype in. It's not the same. Right. Like like there's a big difference between virtual like this and then like imagine if the audience who watched us was Mm -hmm. standing here. Oh right. yeah, they, we would like, feed yeah. off the difference. energy. You feed off yeah. it differently. But you know what? I agree with with game with um with game developers. Of course, you have to be. You guys are a team. So even though they call <sighs> in office people like myself a team, we all do completely different Thank jobs. You're, you are correct. Completely Sam. different things. We Your don't even job, interact. You don't we don't have interact. To be there. You literally don't have to interact with anybody to do the jobs that we do. So anyway, he says everything is give and take. As for uh, reduction in work hours, me personally, I have no problem working a 40 hour shift, but give me four to 10, three days off mm-hmm. and with three days off. That's all I ask for. That's all we all been trying to get. Like, I hope that three actually days off through. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we've all been trying and I don't mind working 10 hour days. That I should be the next thing. Care. We act like the, mm-hmm. like the country makes happen. No, so, so, I don't that's know. A positive yeah, thing. How, how can we, can we sign a GoFundMe for this shit? Like, come on, Hold let's on. make it happen. Yeah. I think that we could four actually start that. Day we work support weeks. Four Four day, four work, day work weeks. Please, if Lord. your industry allows it. Yeah. There are some industries that can't. Tough luck. But, yeah. uh, yo, we honestly, I think we can get people. This can bring all <laughs> people together. Yeah. This could be real unity. That's one thing I think we all could we agree. All agree As people, on this. we all agree. We want three day weekends, four day work weeks. I yes. think we all can agree on that. We all want to spend more time with our family and friends and just enjoy fucking life. Like even today, we so it's my department is we are drowning we're swamped with requests it's crazy right and we have to get these requests out within 10 days but it's only two people working in my department so <clears throat> so my manager hits us up and he's like hey we've approved overtime if you guys can do two hours that's great mm-hmm. so my ass i'm like I don't, know, I don't feel like really doing no overtime it's it's it's, su- it's summer i want to enjoy like if this was winter y'all the middle of winter or a rainy ass day i'd do it Tell this motherfucker jabbers me which is like an instant messenger is like is there a reason why you won't do overtime i'm like who the fuck like i don't owe you anything like who the fuck are you talking Sam, to you can come work where i'm at man Bro. So they fucking damn sure don't give anybody overtime yo no but my thing is it's like i'll do it but if i want to do one hour that should be fine he said you can you have to do two if you want to get overtime you have to do two mind you we just had a holiday this week so we don't even get the plus hours when you make right. overtime is going to be the same. I make base pay. So it's not going to be double time and a half. Oh yeah. They fucked that. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I'm yeah, like, 
Put that, put that, put that, here, yo. I'm not doing overtime. It's not even gonna be OT money. It's yeah. gonna be regular oh, yeah. ass base pay. Like, I tell him to eat it too. Yeah, fuck I just here. thought he was bugging out. And like for him to say it's, it's not, it's not even manual. It's optional. So why are you in like motherfucking messages? Ask me why I don't want to do it. Sliding the now, DMs. if we had a four day work week. <laughs> <laughs> with and three days off, I might consider it. But would you li- still get? I think. Oh, but here's the thing. Thanks, Leo. Would you still get a four day work week? Like, would I still do OT? Well, no, no, no. Like, let's say uh, the Fourth of July falls on a Monday mm-hmm. next year. Let's say this. Like, we we have a four day work week. Mm-hmm. Like, would that mean you'd have the fourth off? The fourth off yeah. still? Yes. Federal holiday is still off, dog. You, that so, y'all people, would like, so y'all would like... Y'all imagine, that means five, a would week have, off. How the fuck have y'all not made this we happen would, then? If, if we could do the four-day the the three, the three day weekends, we would always have like four-day four, uh, four day weekends, five-day weekends for the yo, day how have off. y'all not made this like, happen yet? Yo. How have y'all not made this happen yet? Oh, no, no. Let's make it happen. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, this country's yeah. failing. Um, anyway. <laughs> all right. So, I have a question. What's that? I need a woman's perspective because apparently I'm an ass for what I said. All right. Is this not a compliment? All right. I said that I'm no longer messing with uh, West Indian chicks because I think they got voodoo uh-huh. between their legs. They got what? I said I think they got voodoo between their legs. Steve. Is that you, not a compliment? Um, what? It's a backhanded compliment, I guess. Basically, you're pussy whipped and you're mad about it, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Okay, no, not pussy whipped. <laughs> not pussy whipped. It sounds like you're pussy yeah. whipped and you're mad about it. No, and you're no, trying no, no, to, like, no, no, blame no, her no, for you no. being pussy whipped. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Refuse. And there's nothing I wrong with get, about being pussy I refuse to get back into that corner. No, that's not why. Okay. I wouldn't. I would, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. I think it was a compliment. Why, why did she have voodoo between her legs? Because she got good pussy, right? Right. See, it's a compliment. But it's a backhanded no, compliment. No, it's not a backhanded compliment. You're, it almost sounds like you're, like I said, you're mad that you're pussy whipped. And then it also it's sounds I, like. No, I'm not mad because I'm not pussy whipped. It's like, That's almost like when guys talk about like Spanish girls and be like, oh, Spanish girls are fucking crazy. <laughs> what but they that? like love it. But they person, love but it. Yeah. So they like love that shit. Mm-hmm. So they're mm-hmm. like, who the fuck Our black crazy? girls are crazy. You know? But yeah, that's all. But you actually, date. I feel like they kind of mean that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think they women be, are they be, uh, crazy. They be hold on, I, 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 no, I'm crazy. So I'm over it. Wait, hold on. People I, are I'm crazy. So over I think no. Sam, you had it right the first time. No, no. I think no, people Sam, are crazy. You had it right the first time. Black girls get the more of the mean thing. The angry, the angry. So, the st- so you're speaking in stereotypes. Stereotypes. Okay, yes. that. Wh- but no, it's this, Brittany. It's always like black Wait, women. I don't know hold how on, we ended on. up here. Black I was women just are. This asking is asking if I was Steve, inappropriate on, or not. I mean, I'm just. Well, Brittany has a point. So the stereotype is black women are angry and Spanish women are spicy. But that's just angry. But we. But Spanish women can't be called angry. They're just called spicy. spicy. Like it's exotic. Yeah, like it's but a they're great just. Thing. We're all fucking angry. <laughs> we all get our period once a month. Like we're all fucking angry here. Yes. Like. But yeah, I think everyone's crazy, Steve. Men, women. I think it takes the right person to get you out of your character and make you do shit you never thought you would do. Fair enough. That's all I'm saying. Dick whip, pussy whip, it whatever you want to call question. it. Whatever you want to call it. Was it was just Why, a question. Were, were they mad? Well, apparently the women at the table thought it was inappropriate. Fucking. It's a little shitty. Cause it's what, not. Are you saying you're being, you know what voodoo is, right? Like you, yes, you can manipulate. I know you know, what voodoo it's evil. is. It's evil. It's, it's supposedly, you know. Even though it's not, it was just dubbed as evil by the oppressor, but it's evil, right? She's got to take then, everything on, fucking racial. But it's true. It's, That's it's what honestly, voodoo was. It was a reli- it's a religion. It was a religion before it was dubbed okay, black magic. Awesome sauce. But you want? What do you mean awesome sauce? Did you know Sam, that before you I, called this woman yes, vagina evil? Yes, I actually evil? did, Sam. I did. did I, knew ex- I know exactly did you what know it is. But you know the history of it? Yes. No, you didn't, because I just oh, taught you some right. shit. Okay, you didn't teach me a fucking thing. Okay, so it then, was a joke, and you again. Okay, and they were offended. Made it, all right, well, it wasn't offended. Were they offended. not offended? They were just like you just eh. said they were offended. Well, well whatever. That's why like, you just stop talking for the rest of the fucking episode. Like that motherfucking talking. That's all I'm saying, and it has to go into some fucking other land where because I didn't you even need a question. It to go. Did you not ask a question? And I'm giving you an answer, right. and you just even said the women at the table were offended. I, like, and it was it's not it a wasn't more offense. It was more like. More like, wow, he's an asshole. Was it like offensive? Am I, Brittany, am I bugging? Is that not like what you say to a person that offends you? 
You call him an asshole? No, oh, fair uh, enough. All right. <laughs> fuck? Like, it was, fair like, enough. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, whatever. But do I think it was awful to the point where, you know, I would probably laugh it off? Thank yeah. you. Honestly. I, yeah. That's all I was Absolutely. asking. Yeah. But your question was, was it a compliment? And I said it was a backhanded one. I'd be like, yeah, let this shit taunt you, nigga. There you go. See, thank let you, Let it haunt, haunt you. Be thank you. <laughs> like, that's that, that, that's all I was going for. See, she got it. So, wait, I don't... No. No, I don't think so. But I'm saying... Uh, why did you say nah. that, though? I get, I get what he's saying. Honestly, it was just a fucking joke. But, it was just a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> I get what he's saying. But you know jokes, they, what they say, right? Everybody yes, there's a little it, bit so, of truth in so it, of course. what's the truth about it? Is That's almost like when I say I want to stay away from Virgos. Because no, exactly. So, it's, it's just one of those things where I'm just like, I obviously, I have a type. You know. And I, I typically date West Indian women. Is it because honestly, that type doesn't work for you? It, it just that, hasn't Now been. they have voodoo vagina. I'm just asking. Yes, Sam. It's just that that hasn't been working. Not that there's actually voodoo between their legs. It was <laughs> a fucking well, joke. You love that shit. And right. Love and you still reality, you keep, you're probably you keep still going to keep fucking. Yeah. Keep yes, obviously. Yeah, it was a fucking, yeah. that's yes. the point of it. Thank you. Yes. I see what you're coming from, Steve. Thank you. Okay. All right. It's only adorable when I say it. Obviously, if somebody else says it, they're really an asshole. I was just trying to be cute. Anyway, um, so <laughs> have I'm you? I'm sorry. You guys are the one trying to do this dating thing, and you didn't think this kind of shit was gonna pop up. So, <laughs> just West Indian girls is what you're saying. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Is that from your experience? Of pretty much, Steve is. No, it's it's Steve's booze. Steve's booze. I get y'all. Y'all don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, that's oh that's, that's why. No, I had the little jingle with it. It was so she corny. Really does. It's like Steve's booze. Steve's booze. You know what to do. Sit down in his pot and chair and pot. As we get okay. spot. She's got to work on the uh, ending, as get, but... As we get sued. But, uh, <laughs> oh, now we switch the words. Hold on. Yeah. We switch the words. Steve wears, you know, the little green I have green a new sweat. guy's name is Steve, so they're going to be like... That's why I said Steve's booze. That was a double entendre. Yeah, we about to get double sued. <laughs> <laughs> double sued. Double sued. Uh, yeah. Sue us for what? The yeah. phones? Our phones? Yeah. I know, right? That's what I was like. You want this iPhone 12? Here Good you luck. go. <laughs> Good take luck. it. Take it. That's all I have. <laughs> Let me take it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Anyway. Um, so, oh, my God. Any guy, anyway, guys. So, <clears throat> on uh, surfing the internet, the interweb today, did you guys see the backlash Kiki Palmer's been getting? Uh, yes. Yes. All right. And we'll speak on that after the <laughs> break. And we're back. So, yes, yes. My girl Kiki Palmer, <coughs> singer, actress, dancer. Um, so shout out to the shade room. It says social media users react to comments Darius Jackson made about Kiki Palmer's recent attire. So Darius Jackson is her son's father. So Kiki did go to a Usher concert and she did have on this like solid black onesie. If you guys, if you um, listeners, if you go to our YouTube, you can see Gorgeous. it. Right on the she looks great. Solid black onesie with a Beautiful. mesh see-through. It's like a leotard yeah, underneath. It, it is a thong in the back. A thong. She does a have a thong. Yeah, but do we have a, I, I, yes, you can be a picture of yeah, the she, back of it. Yeah, keep going. Yep. So, nope, keep going. Beautiful. Um, nice little mesh. Yep. Over so, it. You can go ahead and read that part, Brick, because I know you. So. Wait, are they? I, so as, as Sam they're was saying married. a little bit, Kiki, this is her boyfriend and the father of her kid. Okay, boyfriend. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, I said that. So he puts her on blast for wearing this outfit to the Usher concert. So he thinks that she should be dressing more like a mom. He said, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother of his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. So like, again, to describe the outfit, it's just a thick, it's just one solid one piece thong mesh dress long. She looks great. Yes. Now here's um, a picture of the back. Yes. The back is a thong. The back is a thong. Um, she's at Usher. Usher is looking. Dress. He's a Usher man. Like, whoo. Yeah. And you know, if you guys know, you see the whoo is in his lips over there. <laughs> but if you guys yeah. know, Usher. Zoom, yeah. He's like, Oh Lord, <laughs> yeah. have mercy. Yeah. So, <laughs> 
Hey, if you guys know, Usher has a resident. Freaking Justin. Uh, he's Uncle like, Kiki, Kiki. Yeah. want to see me? He was about yeah. to Kiki, whatever. Kiki, do you love me? me? Are you riding? <laughs> so, as you know, Usher has a residency in Vegas. So, he, as we all know, Usher puts on a show. So, he's singing to her. She's singing to him. Like, what is she's friend fi- doing? So, she's. What face is fan, that? Because probably watching girl, they were fans. Like, like, on show, her. But like, they were fans. Like she's a fan. She was fan yeah. girl. So, she's had his concert. She's so enjoying her time. Darius, so Darius, her her son's father, right? Uh, as it says, it's the outfit though. You're a mom putting her on blast. And this is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. So my opinion, his approach was really bad like he can have emotions right he's a human being here like he's gonna people experience jealousy and shit like that i think putting her on blast on social media was completely wrong that was a huge red flag this is something you could have waited till she got home and said to her not put it on social media and make it seem like she's less than a mother because she wants to be sexy kiki palmer is in her soft girl era she had this baby she got this body now what did you expect like if i was to get a fucking bbl you don't think my choice in clothes is gonna change if if i was to get a boob job you don't think my choice of clothing is gonna change i'm gonna show off the, these things but that she I, had shared her body had come from her just having the baby she yeah. gained some weight that's all she did well she no was super I just, I'm not saying she, she had was surgery. super skinny and yeah. thin and she just had a baby and when you have a baby some people are blessed mm-hmm. and some, some, are some people, are, people are blessed to have and it fill certain areas of your body where you never had right mm-hmm. so um I think that this is part of her soft girl era and you know what I'm here for it. I'm all the way, a million percent supportive of it. And it sounds to me like she needs to leave with it. Well, this is, is, (laughs) it sounds to me, honestly, I don't think so. I feel, I, I, no, 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 Sam. I I just feel like the disrespect on social media was was, was over the fucking top. This is your girl. This This is is your mother of your son. uh, This is the mother of your kid. This is, this is somebody who spoke, oh, my family. Oh, uh, your family. It should be dealt with in family matters, not something that should be retweeted and Mm -hmm. plugged for the world for us to give our opinion like we're doing right now, right? But if we have to, I don't know. I feel like he needs to grow some fucking balls and be confident. Like, why why aren't you a confident man being like, look at my fucking woman. She looks fucking good. Well, I'll, like, I'll say this, Brit. She looks I don't great. think that his response. She meant, looks fucking great. Yeah, I don't think his response meant fucking lack, great. Hold on. I don't think his response meant lack of confidence. I think that he had a moment where he was a little jealous and a little upset. Right. Because he's human. Right. I'm not trying to take away. He's he's a human being with emotions. And he had a moment okay. now. Hold on. However, when really? when he when a person has a moment usually they won't react because they have like emotional education right so they won't react they'll cool down and then come back to it he didn't do that he put it on social media he embarrassed himself mostly and yes he has this conversation going where she i don't think looked fucking beautiful i feel like there was nothing the point, though. distasteful Really? Like, you go to the beach, you see more at the beach. Like, mm-hmm. are we fucking... That's true. She was at a fucking concert. She wanted to look sexy. She looked sexy. She felt great. She's fucking Kiki Palmer. Like, nigga, you fucking Kiki Palmer. Know, right? Like, get like, your fucking... Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, yo. That's how I fucking feel. But I feel like you should you, just be... You should... That's your woman. That's yeah. your girl. She'd be like, damn, my baby look good. She enjoyed her fucking concert. Yeah, right, Usher. That's, you see her? You see you that? You see her? That's my, that's my right there. You see her, though? <laughs> so, yeah, you saw her. She looked good, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how I I just feel like I just feel like I just wish more men would be more comfortable in letting a woman. I do. I really do. I feel like I wish they would let them. I I really feel like a lot of men aren't comfortable enough. And I feel like it says a lot about them on the Mm -hmm. inside than on anything. Right. Because I feel like they're just going to be like, oh, like men are going to be looking at her. Wait, Brent. But hold on. Yeah, maybe. I say in this instance, I don't. I absolutely agree with what you're saying. I think in this instance, I don't think it was a confidence thing you know what I mean I just think that he was just he threw a little temper tantrum and then got online and 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 you know it was like what? What? Yes, what? I know he bubbling what? up. I know. Go ahead, Steve. Say something what? off the wall. Yeah. Go ahead. I know you waiting. Jeez. What? I know you waiting. We're go having ahead. a conversation. You over here cutting us off while we're talking. We don't do that shit to you. But go ahead. Oh, actually, it happens weekly. What do you want to no. say? What do you want to say? As the man. Oh, As the man. Uh, let's say As that the was man your woman. Of the pod. Let me say if that was your woman. 
and she dressed like that. Exactly what Kiki Palmer looks like. That outfit, what would you say? All right. First and foremost, I would really appreciate it if women would please stop calling everything an insecurity if a man that. disagrees with something. Yes, Sam, I know you said that, and I was very happy and proud of you for saying mm -hmm. so, but just... I feel, like has a point too. I feel like it says a lot I'm about it. Not finished. Now, here's the other point. Clearly, Kiki probably knew that he would probably not like this. More than likely, they've had this conversation because there are guys who do like their women to dress a little bit more modestly, uh, especially if you are a celebrity. Because you're always in the spotlight. The less negative press, the better. But I'm talking about... Hold, okay. on, hold on, Sam. Hold on. Listen. Now, you, he messed you. up. No, you. Hold on. Listen. 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 He messed up. Had he not done what he did, we would not be talking about this. Right. Her outfit wasn't that nuts, but I can completely see why he would have an issue with it. Why? Now, the other, because, he, all right. Can let's you put say, your, hold, I want hold, your hold, opinion. Hold, 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 my opinion is you this. You putting your, that's your what girl. I, Kiki I would, Palmer is your woman. I would hold not. Hold on, can I give you the backstory? Kiki Palmer is your woman. You're not an actor. You're not nothing. You're just a regular, regular dude from California. You I would not like it. Of course you wouldn't. Hold why on. not? I will tell you why. Yeah. Because she is Kiki <laughs> Wait, Palmer. Wait, what do you mean? Of course he wouldn't. I just... Listen. Typical? No, typical? it's not typical. Because yeah. you don't... See, again. Uh -huh. Again, this is what, you know, typical uh -huh. women do. Uh -huh. And this is how you can always tell a single one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. That don't mean... Now... <laughs> <laughs> I told no, you I didn't want to get serious. Didn't. And now motherfucking no, pushed me. No, he fucking didn't. Now, as I was saying... The reason yeah, why please. I would Go not ahead. like Let your it. insecurities out. Nigga. The reason why no, this has no this has nothing to do with insecurity. Out, because with all due Go respect, ahead. Brittany, show it, you're show not it. a man, show it. so you don't have to deal with man show problems. It. So imagine no, no, you're no, no, with no. Your, I'll give you a scenario, Brittany. Imagine you're out with that girl, and she out there, and you out. Lovely, baby, you look great. Let's go out. Okay. I also can't control what another man is willing to do. You have to trust your woman. Who it doesn't matter. So let's just say a guy's feeling froggy. He wants to come up and just slap that ass. Happens all the time. It does. Men, shit happens like this all the fucking time. A guy will slap Hold your on. ass in sweatpants, dog. Okay, I understand a, that too. Full I understand, sweat Sam, I'm not saying, I'm not shaming the outfit. I am just not saying... Gonna. I I'm am just gonna, saying that. So we should just also, cater to the men who no. can't control their fucking. Yeah. Okay. So we're just, all right. so, we're just all not right. going to so, wear anything. You fuck out of here. Not, that's not even you what know, we're saying. No. And that's not. And, and again, you completely blew by what no. I was saying. The reason why I personally have a problem because I don't mm -hmm. want to get into an altercation when we technically don't have to be in one. Wait, hold on. But she just what? said it. She just said, so we have to dress for the men who can't control themselves. No, it's not that. It just yeah, mitigates certain things. that's what you're saying. Things. You're saying, wear a fucking turtleneck of jeans. No, I because didn't say that. And I even just that, said, I And even then, that. if a nigga likes your asses, then smack it, right? If a guy it. likes your asses, then yeah. smack it. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what you're wearing, right? If he's going to be that disrespectful, he's going to do it regardless. Regardless of what you have on. I feel like it's All your right. body. All right. The right? fact that you it's don't think... It's your body. You should be able to express and this wear coming, whatever sorry, the hell you look like you just you came from the wear. gym she's dressed like she's getting ready for bed I don't know oh and you're stylish you nigga about? Uh, first right. of all okay, I did just come from the gym fucking no show I did just come from the gym okay, okay. I, I, you, you know what I'm saying long shorts I told you I didn't want to get shorts on I told you I didn't want to do any serious topic he got clam diggers capris on he got capris on with a shirt with a zipper that don't work that's very true a non-functioning zipper shut a not, it, it really is just an accessory. Motherfucker. How <laughs> dare you? Hey, it got us wow. off that fucking dare ridiculous you. conversation that I was getting that tired ridiculous. of. No. How you is know, that ridiculous? No, it's because, not. Because we're going around in circles just like we always do. This is the same exact conversation that we have had before that men and women constantly have with each other. Neither one of us really want to... I can completely see where everybody's coming from, but you just refuse to fucking see where a guy could come from that he might have an issue with it. And I, that I it see. is okay. What I he did see. was wrong, but yes. the fact that it is okay for somebody to not like the way a certain That's person true. dresses. It is it's okay. completely fine. It's fine. And the fact that you as a woman, it's, it's always women who really 
seriously, think that the fucking world revolves around y'all who keep spouting off all this horse shit. Stop it. I'm going to tell you right now. I guess. Can I be I honest? I just experienced the difference. I've had, I've been with guys who've been like, ah, eh, maybe you shouldn't wear that. And that's more of a confidence thing with them. And then I've, I've really only dated one guy who was like, wear what you want. It's your body. Right. And it's like, but he's also the, one of the most confident guys I've ever dated. So there is a difference. There's a difference in the approach. And I feel like if you met me, wearing this and being That's fun true. and being eccentric and really trying out me. new pieces and looking cute and dressing up and dressing how I am. And then you met me and all of a sudden you want to be like, babe, um, right. you know what? Maybe you should like change your whole thing everything about you <laughs> i don't like how you dress right like and there has to be because like I, there has to be, you're in a relationship there has to be a little give, give and take there has to be a little compromise right so if he expressed enough concern as my man i would have to be like okay you know what i could probably but i'm not about to change so my as a mom would you would you love shit. for your ass to be completely out I'm gonna tell uh, you right uh, now. Hold on, see, hold on. If you're I ass, wore a dress, I'm gonna like body, that. I wear that. Okay, you know, uh, that's what I'm asking. Summer. So you completely um, cool with your kids going up seeing it? Not fully on thong. <laughs> Wait, not he, full on thong. Now we're but it was a kids. brief. Hold on, that's right. what he's bringing it up. It was a brief. That's it what was, he brought up. It was a brief, but you, it was yeah, mesh, I, just no, like Kiki's. It was mesh, and it was a brief. Could could people visibly could people visibly see your ass? I mean, yeah, it was mesh. You could see. So hold on. Okay. Brief, I think so you're it's completely fine. So Brittany, you are completely it's a fine. Brief showing your bottom, good right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You are fine. Can I, can so I you so? are fine with your kids Steve, seeing that in Steve. the future. Steve, seeing what? Like, okay, you that's my like point. I was like, that was my point. See it? Okay. What do they see? Okay, that's cool. Well, hold on, that's Steve. She was single. What do they see? Wait, my question is: Brittany was single at the time when she wore this outfit. If she was in a relationship, would you have an issue with it, or because she's single, it's totally fine? I just think that I do whatever y'all want. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't really care what people do, mm -hmm. but understand that there are repercussions when you do certain things. No and matter wear what certain you things, do, no matter yeah, what you do, I understand. No matter if you're That's single, married, so it doesn't matter. But my, I, I think the see argument where is getting, he came from. Oh, well, it's to protect the image of Kiki. Okay, That's all. But she never. Well, let yeah, me let, say this. That's it's not it. about. I don't know if it was an image thing because Kiki. The has world that was move, like, yeah, go girl. You she look used to wear. You know, you know, she used, she always had like a very slim, athletic body. Athletic she had body. a baby and filled oh. out, and oh, she's, she's always been wearing. Sexy. She was just okay. showing on the Jason uh, podcast, and she looked beautiful. Yeah. And she had she like, always been sexy, a, a, and everyone was like, "Who is this?" Like you, you, and she was like, and that's when she was like, you know, I'm filling out more, like exactly where I wanted to fill out, yeah. and she looked great on that pod. And she had a well, short mini skirt on there, yeah. and she had like a little like uh, cut off top. Yeah. To me, Kiki's always been sexy even when she was smaller. So <laughs> even even <laughs> though she was smaller. So my thing I think the argument's getting lost here. My biggest thing with, with her her son's father is that he just tried to violate I think he's her. Hurt. He tried to violate yeah. her on social media yeah. and he could have just had this conversation at home. Her outfit wasn't in question. Um social media had nothing to say but good things about Kiki. She looks amazing. Yes. She's great. Nobody was even really like, Oh, you shouldn't dress like that. You're a mom. Oh, you're in a relationship. No one even no really said all. that. No. It was his response uh, and people feel like People are now he deleted his social media. People feel like they're coming too hard on him. And yeah, it's like, no, they, they he went deserves it because he tried to slam her deserves on social that. media. And this is supposed to be your boyfriend. Yeah, like, and you're fuck yeah, out of here. Come on now. You just mad Usher was glaring at that That's shit it. and gave her some attention. And as, as Britney said, you should be you like, you see nothing. You see you Usher should, looking exactly. at my bitch. You should be you like, see Usher yeah, looking at my bitch. Like, she like, look good though. Yeah. Right? She over here though. You and where she and where she and where she going at the end of night? His house, right? Come on, he wasn't leaving him. Like I'm. Just, this is uh, he didn't have to do her. all that how you know he didn't have to well you don't know I, I hope she do now I mean <laughs> obviously this man this he, man he if you gonna it. bash yeah, her he yeah come it. on yo, she just keep, got I, you'll never hear this her shit. but do yourself a favor don't be listening to people like us about relationship advice please why not oh please why not oh okay like I'm not in a relationship I know I'm you a are healthy one you are you are a very healthy one so I have no room to talk. Anything. I, I'm just saying, this. I, I, I don't know. Can't talk I, on it, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know why we're, we're even on this. This isn't well, even a big deal. What do you 
Really? What are you talking about? My this jewelry's was, all over. Yeah, all, it's been all Everybody over social had media an for, opinion for today. I didn't even know about this. Yeah, you did because when I asked you, you said, "Yeah, I did know." I just heard like Kiki Palmer or Lord something, but I didn't Why know it was like all this. Shit right now. Hold on. So the best because I'm you trying know to have some also, fun, and also, we're getting into serious mode again. It doesn't matter. It's not a serious. We topic, can talk about. I want to talk about. It's not a serious OD topic. It's but, not. And I you thought know, the funniest part is that they showed this motherfucker in his boxers and him posting himself shirtless in boxers. See, now I wonder, ladies, would we Why feel the same okay? way, right? Yeah. If your man they do. was muscle upon muscle well, upon yes. muscle. They get and angry. He just, they don't he like just it. just decided to never wear a shirt. Right. Are we going to be mad? Are yes, we you would. Are we like, nigga, put a shirt on? Yes. Like, yes. like how do we feel about that? I think it depends on your how relationship. You so for, I can speak on minds. I trust my boyfriend. Right. Right? So if he did, I wouldn't even be mad. No, I'd probably that. make jokes. I'd tell him to put I a would, shirt on. I would make jokes like, God damn it, nigga, you can't keep no goddamn shirt on. I always but tell him to put I a shirt think on. I, I'm very attracted to my boyfriend, and I actually really trust him. And I think he feels the same way about me. So, Brittany, the other day, um, I, I had hosted like this, this party or whatever for a friend. Mm-hmm. And... The dress, you seen the dress I wore. It's, I wore yeah. it in Jamaica. It's cute. It's spaghetti strap. It's cut out. And it's got a high oh, slit, right? Mm-hmm. The bouncer guy was like, you look great. I said, oh, thank you. He said, uh, he's, I told him I was married so he wouldn't try to holler at me. What, so, no ring on? Huh? What, no ring yeah, on? Yeah, no. I was trying to like hide it I, like this enough. arm. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was like, I'm married. And I want my arms <laughs> behind my back, my, my left side, my left arm. So he was like, oh, wow, that's great. I hope he's good to you. You know, that bullshit. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, and anyway, he's like, well, if you were my wife or my girl, I would never let you out looking like that without, why you without, without me. Without me. He, said, that's why you he, he said without me. That's and even I, worse. Right, and I was like, okay. well, I, you know, I've asked Cole if I wore certain things, would he feel away? Y'all know when Halloween comes, bitch is naked. Mm. We all know that. And he's like, you did that before you met me, you know what I mean? And you're around me. I, I don't, you know, I'm not going to stop who you are. And what you wear. It shouldn't be. So it's it's just that's having so trust in the relationship. That auntie alpha trust, you got confidence. on is for him. And it's for me, baby. I love a moo-moo. But that yeah, it's trust. That bothering me. Trust, uh, yes, trust, and confidence. confidence. My boyfriend does have a lot of confidence. confidence. You're right. You're right. That's like I've been saying from the yeah. beginning. But I don't know because uh, I don't want to just chuck on, it up as that he's not that he's insecure. That's so it's so I, that's, it's so demeaning. Big it's so demeaning. One. No, it's not. Uh, for you, you to don't go know on that social man. media, yeah, and OG that's true. on your girl yeah. about her fucking outfits, like the world was about to bash her and take her down a couple notches. Yeah, because you're looking so. fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, thank God. You got a problem. Thank God we finally take a break. <laughs> And we're back. So, producer Bay, behind the scenes, has pulled up a random clip that he wants us to react to. So, listeners, go to our YouTube. And he's playing it now. Fuck dick when you feel like it. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Right? And... That is a, I want to say a part of that is because of your age for you to make a statement like that. Because you are younger than everybody here. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to let you have your moment. But to actually think that you, like, like, to think you got it going on that much that you can suck dick when you feel like it is, (laughs) it's, I don't know, like, it makes me laugh only because, like, the moment that we start taking our partners for granted or the moment that we start thinking that I'm like, 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 like it's, it's a blessing for them to have us, that's when you lose them. Yeah. And this is coming from a man. Like, it's always going to be somebody younger, prettier, tighter, pussy, fatter, <laughs> nicer titties, purer skin, but you better fuck. They bleeped you out ass. Know it. <laughs> you said you suck dick when you feel All right, like. so hold on. So the clip was from, uh, it says, head is a privilege. <laughs> now, I don't know if you're trying to tell me something. <laughs> So no, if y'all don't know Producer Bay is my boyfriend He's the one who works Behind the scenes But uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like It is a privilege No the fuck it's not Yeah it is I don't suck N- Nigga Every why? guy I've ever Like Why I've is never, that a privilege I haven't sucked every dude I've been intimate Intimate with dick. Okay No Alright this is the reason why It's a fucking privilege I have to suck my boyfriend's dick uh, Or someone that I love I don't suck dick out. I don't just don't Just be sucking dick What I can't do this shit what is I, your problem, uh, Steve? Yeah. Like, how the f- all right? 
You good? I, I hate, the water? I like, fucking hate. I, I honestly, this is what this is what fucking irks me about women. <laughs> the, the, the the fucking I I don't know where this arrogance came from to I'm act like arrogant. your mouth is more of a privilege than your pussy. When the fuck did that happen? Most of the time, we want you to suck dick. So we want you to mouth sh- shut up. No. Like. No. There I, you go. <laughs> no. Wait. Like what? why? What? Why you're so? You're saying no. that. All right. So you're saying that your mouth is more of a privilege than your pussy is. No. What I'm. No. Well, I'm no, not saying that no. either. You but we're, we are talking every, about yeah. head being a privilege. privilege. It's not a privilege. It is. Yes. It is it not is, a privilege. Steve. Sex no, is a privilege. No one didn't know it's not. Steven. All right. It's not a Just privilege. Just because you put your mouth on every fucking box you come across, nigga. Hey, clean as a whistle, baby. Oh. Hmm. Tried and true to test it, baby. Got a bump right on your lip right there. First you of all. You would like to think so, <laughs> but nice try. I'm just kidding. No woman is really, well. Go ahead, Brittany. Let me not say no woman. Yeah. Because, you know, everyone has their yeah. own little thing that they do. But mm-hmm. um, no one is really going to be like all about sucking your dick when you just meet a guy, right? That's it's, true. it's when you are <clears throat> dating really really like them you're into them what is so funny because she's full of shit i used to throw fucking house parties and bitches were blowing dudes in the bathroom get the fuck out of here that's a different thing it's not a privilege it's not not the first thing you do i said not everybody what are you talking about it's the first thing you do most dudes get their dick sucked before you ever let them fuck okay, you. So what are you well, talking about? Please. It's not privilege. Wait, let's go back to talking about privilege. getting that good fucking head. Oh, Jesus that, Christ. That head oh, that yeah. you just bust a nut from oh. your fucking soul, okay? That comes with a bitch being in love with yeah, you I and wanting, you. I and wanting you. to I please you. you. It's not true. Well, let's go Steve. back to the clip. She, he, he was talking in a matter of a relationship. She's saying that He's saying that how dare you? You're in this relationship that you think like sucking dick is a privilege in your intimate, you know, relationship. He's saying how dare you think it's a privilege? Oh, she doesn't yeah, suck his dick in a relationship. She's in a relationship with this person. She's not sucking that's his dick. That's even worse. Yeah, that's that's, that's even worse. That's rough. Awful. That's awful. But because it, the partner has needs and and sucking a little needs. dick it, it's not that hard. Like mwah, mwah, mwah. and then you go about your business. Like suck his dick, girl. Okay, you just suck said it's dick, no girl. problem, but it's I a privilege. Remember, no, and no, I'm saying as a privilege to any man. Like it's yeah. not. It's not a privilege to yeah, every yeah. man. It's, it's not, not a privilege related to every man. It's, I don't know. It's not. <laughs> it's the first especially, thing. Especially, especially if you're not gonna go down on the girl. Well, you're I mean, expecting Henny. You're not gonna I'm go down on one, the girl. I'm the wrong one to, you know, talk. I am. No, a giver. you're a rare breed. Like so, you eating, you but, you eating pussy like it's going out of style. I, you know, high five, air five. Thanks, Steve. Women appreciate that, but most men don't. I would and, hope so. And most men don't, and they expect head. Absolutely. And don't give head. You don't Ex- get head. Wait, I, no, I wish no. you would stop saying that. Um, they expect head and don't give head. They you expect don't. sex and don't even want a woman to come. Don't even care if a woman comes. Right. It's, it's a privilege to not get my privilege. mouth on. Yeah. Oh my God. No, it's not. Like, like a, a privilege is you get to like, all right. So imagine you're at an amusement park, right? And there is only one roller coaster that a very select few mm. people can go on. Okay, only a hundred people can go on this roller coaster. But I don't know, you win some fucking golden ticket or some shit. That and you could go on this magical roller coaster. That's a fucking privilege. Okay. But some shit you have literally given to a I'm look, depending on how promiscuous you are, uh, with all due respect, like let's just keep it a buck. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure most of you women have sucked at least more than five dicks. It ain't a fucking privilege. I fucking bank on it. I'm sure that a lot of you bitches are in fucking double digits. So first and foremost, to sit there and say it's a motherfucking privilege, you can suck my dick. So what's wrong with her just saying, I'm not sucking every guy's dick? What's wrong with that? That right there is how you do a monologue, baby. (laughs) What's wrong with her? I think it's a little crazy. Thank you, Colt. For I do think it's a little crazy for her not to be sucking her man's dick. Yeah. Honestly. He's gonna go somewhere else. He's gonna go somewhere else. What if he's a guy? Okay, what if 
You have to. I don't know about you, Brittany. It, 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 you you've said you enjoy sucking dick, right? We some I dick do. suckers here. I love it. This, uh, Paul? It's, blo- <laughs> it's it's blowjob, Brittany. I enjoy it. Su- yes. Well, the, it's sucking I, dick, I, Sam. I you know what I'm saying? It's blow. My part, our partner. Yes. We <laughs> blowjob, Brittany. Sucking dick, Sam. No, so we, we're, 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 we're sucking. Blow yeah. Blowjob, Brittany. We're, oh, okay. <laughs> so that's no, bad, wait, blowjob, Brittany is better than ruler mouth. Blowjob Britney. <laughs> when she's in a relationship, it's blowjob Britney, okay? So let's, oh, let's so not outside over here. Of, like, outside of relationship, it's ruler. I'm mouth. over here, like. <laughs> <laughs> you're over here, like, de- look, look, go ahead. Give me the dad. Give me the dad. My bad. My come on. bad, Brit. Oh, no. shit. I didn't know you had a whole system. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, go for it. But could you be in a relationship <laughs> with a guy who doesn't want you to give him head? Mm. Oh, no. Mm. I could. Fuck no. Mm. I could. I actually really enjoy giving it to the point that it pleases me. So uh-huh. I, I prefer to do it three times a day. I feel what she's saying because uh, that's why I like eating At eat least pussy. two times a day. I, actually, make I get happy. pleasure out of it. I could be. Morning could, and I, night. I'd be happy. It's not something I order on the menu much, but, you know, if okay. it's every, if it, you know, if the. The mood calls for it, I'll do it. But no, I'm not I'm not that into it. I do it okay. and I'm good at it. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm just not how'd you get that way? You know, <laughs> porn. No, no, no. I'm like, yo, shout out to Tiana Trump. She's a porn star. Oh, please. She, she's oh, ooh. And natural, Miss Natural, they done they done show me some tricks. I watched them bitches. They're the Sam, ones who do the you know, oh. Sam, yeah. you know you're from the superhead generation. Stop it. No, that you know what's crazy? I watched that older and it wasn't that that crazy. I mean she the way she know, sucked dick wasn't. Just because she crazy. pioneered something and people take it to a whole nother level. It just wasn't it was she can't, wasn't can't hit, she wasn't book. she wasn't even touching my two bitches I just mentioned. Like Right, but what do you think they got? She it was from? Ha- she had very like basic head, if you ask me. It was it was like a basic Tuesday. Yeah, compared Tuesday, to now. It was, it was a Tuesday blow Sam, job. we're disgusting, filthy people now. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking trying to say. The, 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 so the fact that the hair. fact that the she fact that anybody head. would say that that was a privilege. That the, we're we're filth fucking balls. There's no fucking way anybody could ever think that. There's no way. Would, I'm sorry, you're a delusional bitch if you think you fucking and sucking is a privilege. It's not. Some people, are you what's talking wrong with about, that? Steve? It's not a fucking privilege. We're giving up our bodies to you, and I feel like anybody who has access to me and my body I know some bitches and call it Thursday. What are you talking okay? about? All right, and some men, Any, and, and men out here having how many kids, but how many women not using protection, I'm giving not girls STDs, but you're coming out with I'm definitely a privilege. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about you saying that bitch is we a glorify whole culture. What the fuck are we speaking about? And Are there's you another culture I, of people who don't, who I don't just, do that. I'm glad you brought this Listen, up, Sam. Listen, all about it. Did if you, you want to fuck a hundred niggas, do it. If you don't, don't do it. I no. don't give a fuck. It Whatever you want to do. It doesn't all I'm saying, bother me. It doesn't affect my day to day. You know who no India Irie is, right? India Irie? Yeah. Whatever. Yes. So you know how she's she's kind of getting flamed a little bit. She is. You know, uh, for calling out Meg The Stallion and uh, who's the other one? Cardi B. Uh, and Cardi B and them. For, Lotto. And all them for... Promoting uh, to being thought o- culture. To being over-sexualized. Thought culture. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. You, we're in thought culture now. Yeah. And to sit mm-hmm. there and, and all this is, all they talk about is the immense dick they suck. Yeah. Like legitimately. That's all they so talk about. So why are you about. angry at a girl saying I'm that's a angry. privilege that I'm she not doesn't angry, want to do? But Jesus Christ, the arrogance in women is fucking astounding. It's to something arrogant. that you literally so give go. to everybody you meet almost and have the nerve to sit there and say to somebody, just because you're serious with somebody and say, you know this head is a privilege. Oh, never mind the other fucking 10 and 12 that came before you. This is the real privilege. They got basic. Fuck out of here. Suck dick. So, eat it all. Eat a dick. All that shit. I'm done. I'm done listening to You're this. You're talking. All we're this, going, is, this is asinine. All, Steve. This is asinine. Steve, we're going back to the clip, right? We're mm-hmm. talking about the clip. And the girl is in saying, head is a privilege yeah. in her relationship, right? Mm-hmm. This is so ridiculous. that is something. And I do agree, head being a privilege. But the fact it's is a- that she's not doing it, right? So she's saying, head is a privilege. I don't want to do it. So in a relationship, that, just admit that, you're lazy, bitch. That That's has true. something to do with admit her. That. At least Sam admits That's she's a lazy. Her issue because. Wow. 
<laughs> Your coat, you're an asshole. That's a her issue. <laughs> that was her. funny. Well, we don't know what the issue stemmed from. It could be so many things. She could be traumatized by something. We don't know. She may feel like he needs to do more to get head. Oh, he Jesus. Ain't doing the, he ain't doing the dishes. He ain't throwing out the trash. He ain't paying yeah, enough bills. Maybe she wants to we be taken care of. We don't know. Yeah. Whatever know. gets her to be at that freaky exactly. level where you, she wants you, to suck you gotta pull it out of a bitch. Is where she I, wants to be. Steve, so, you don't, woman. I don't know about you. You must have sex with. Okay, so this is my theory. And please, Brittany and Steve, correct me if I'm wrong. I will. When I really love someone, really like them, attracted to them, I'm I'm giving them all. I'm giving them freak ho. Like I'm fucking all the them time. like crazy. Now, if I just want to get laid and me. I don't really care for this person, I just want to come. Then it's not 100 sex. It's like I'll barely be moving. Oh, all right. I won't get on top. I won't suck yeah. his dick. Like what you're making it seem like you you go 110 percent every single time you have. Okay. Sex. Do Sam, you? I completely agree with what you're saying. Okay. Um, there's definitely a vast difference. Yeah, between, like how? Okay, hold, hold on. on. Sam, you can't ask me a question how and start I talking love, when I'm answering. How I make love Sam, to my boyfriend uh, Sam, is not the same as I make love like to some other guy. Would you like to answer guy. my question that you asked me? Yeah, no, sorry. No, you wouldn't. Thank you. Okay. So, as I was saying, all right, there is a vast difference, obviously. Because I, I say the same thing. I never give A1 dick off jump. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I want you to come God. back. So I want you to think you like me. And it's honestly, it's not even like I'm great. But you ain't giving a one dick off the rip. No way. Never. <laughs> I definitely do not put my best foot forward. Um, I, I I told you I work backwards. Um, so, but when I really do like somebody, you absolutely do. There, there is a level of shit that you just won't do with somebody you are just fucking right. but here's the point let's stop acting like dick is not in your mouth just because you're not trying hard or dick is in you just because you're not trying hard that's not the fuck that that's the point what do you mean who gives a fuck just because you're not trying hard it, just because you fuck somebody great just like all right so let's say you fuck one guy great and you fuck the other 10 decent it doesn't take the way that, that they you fuck, fuck the you. other ten. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. You understand? My like, point it, is that you're not. It's, give, it's, you, you might fuck one. It's not a hundred ten percent, and the other you don't. This isn't a privilege. Like you, I, I'm, I'm telling you so now, it's to, not a so privilege. So Indy said what about whole culture? Like I, I, no, I, I didn't read the whole thing. I was just, I, I just know that they were going mercy. in on her. <laughs> They were going in on her. They were going in on her. Well, she does come from a different generation where you had to be way more modest. And now we're in a generation where it's not like that. I know people locally that have OnlyFans, mothers with OnlyFans, you know, mothers that do porn, um, so on and so forth. Men who do porn. And you haven't gotten them on the pod? I don't know if they would be open to talk about it, though. Oh, A lot geez. of people keep it on the DL. Oh, God. You know what? Yeah. People make me fucking sick. Yeah, a lot of people keep that oh, on the yeah. Because they, pussy, still have a, they still have the a world. certain amount of modesty, right? I guess what? I would assume. Like, they have a certain amount of modesty. Are there faces in these porns? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. Just a body. Fair and enough. a lot of people do that. Fair and enough. just be their body All and they're right. getting raped. But I'm sorry. Can you, I'm sorry. The fact that people are just so. But like, that's what I'm saying. Can you see what I I'm saying? The way porn is. Call it you want me to te- you, you, you're trying to convince a man. You're trying to convince men that this shit is a privilege. When when the abundance of porn and it's just the shit that people are fighting. There's no right. way. There's no way that can come out of some, of a person's mouth. It can't. I I'm, I'm, I'm befuddled right now. I am legitimately fucking confused. Yeah. At how Brittany's even trying to argue this it cannot be argued. all right so all right can you zoom in a little bit more um producer bay and indy Reese says the issue uh the issue is what is context hold on go back up sorry go yep context humanity does everything uh but does everything belong in a stage no is everything for kids no is everything for everybody no so when we as a culture make something like this mainstream, it shows a lack of discretion to those in the comments who laugh at anyone who wants these things for our culture. You certainly have that right. Just as many folks have the right to want our mainstream international export out music to show us in a respectful light. I'd like to go on the record saying this won't age well. And that's my issue. I love Jan- Janelle uh, and Megan the way I love all of us. And I don't like this moment. Don't bother debating with me, LOL. I don't care. And I do this for 25 years. I've done this. So read, ponder or don't. A fucking men. Hey, she's got an opinion. Um, she might honey. be right. 
and you know there's a, she might be right that i know for sure a lot of this music ain't gonna age well like britney come on my pussy pink my booty home I, like that seriously gonna age well. i mean Hold on. I'm, i actually seriously. have never heard that song in the full i'm not i refuse <laughs> I'm to not listen a to huge that fan shit. so oh, I, i'm, I'm know, not with that Sukiana has a song called pussy pussy uh, pussy 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 it's pussy pussy like too much. a lot of this music is not gonna age well it's it's too much. Much. no but she has a point all right, that's enough of that. Like, it was just girls twerking. Like I said, go to our YouTube minority. This is what I'm podcast, saying. You know what it is, yo? And honestly, Sam, this is what I was trying to tell you. I was really trying to tell you, like, I miss when women used to just know how to fucking seduce a guy. Right. It, like, you miss when you, it wasn't all out there. Yes, I miss my imagine. I miss fucking peeling apart the fucking layers and imagining. Mm -hmm. I don't have to imagine anymore with none of y'all. Yeah. Everything is right fucking there. Yeah. This is the reason why, I, honestly, this is the reason why uh, shit can't go right. She's right. Like, certain shit should just be fucking kept indoors between y'all. Like, not everything has to be fucking out there. It, I mean, I understand twerking and shit. Yeah, I, it's a dance. I, I understand that. But, ev I, I mean, literally. Every I think we just fucking have to, thing is that we now. just have to navigate in what the world is now. It is what it is. Like we're old, you may be you're more old school. NDRE says it. She's old school. Uh, yes. She you know she's more modest, and that's just not the era we live in anymore. We are in like it seems like not the thought era, the porn era. Everywhere you see is a naked person, male or female. Kids are in danger. Like it's just sex, sex, sex. Everything and everywhere. Like even right. more of these you know daytime television shows have more mm -hmm. sex in it. It's more raunchy. So you know don't you miss days of our lives? You have to protect your peace, and the only way you could. Do, I never watched these were alive. I mean, I was did. forced to. That's my mom's shit. Yeah, when I had to fucking stay uh, home. She liked passions and, and uh, all, all my children. But anyway. All my children. You know, oh I guess the God. only thing you can do is just try to stray away from watching those kind of things. Like you said, Steve, that you do. And you try to, you know, watch more things that are personal to you. Anime and less naked women and stuff like that. Because this is the world we live in now. Sex, sex, bodies, you it's know. And, and it's sorry, also, it's a, fucking it's also a revelation for some women. They're more free-spirited than they've ever been before. More confident. So it's a double-edged sword. I, I, It's just a fucking, it it's an overload. I, I've got. It does make, I, it does it make us me, desensitized. I, dude, yeah. I'll tell you. That's why I fucking deleted all those chicks off my fucking Instagram. Yeah. I wonder, I, like... This might be a little bit of a personal question for you, Steve. But Go ahead. Do you do you feel like because it's so oversaturated, um, the, the nudity and sex and porn? Do you have a problem like getting aroused by a, a live woman in front of you? Absolutely not. <laughs> I always mind. felt like that might be an issue for these the younger generation, the generation behind us is a Gen Z, right? Gen That's Z? their problem. Gen X or whatever. Right. Um, where because they see it so much. They're so desensitized to it that they have. They're having. I know this is this is a fact. They're having. Right. I know for a they're fact they're having problems. Sexually. It's the, there's a multitude of things that are contributing to that particular thing. I think even more than the actual like over sexualization of shit. Mm. Um, but hold, hold that, that thought, thought cause, cause we gotta, gotta take, take a break. break. And we're back. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking, 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 breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, today is July the 6th, and we got breaking news for you. Sam? No, this is your breaking news, Steve. Yeah, I know, but you're the reader. <laughs> I'm not, I'm going <laughs> to butcher, I'm going to butcher this, shit. I'm going to butcher this player's last name. Oh, I know his name. name. It's Victor Wimbenyama. Wait, wait, Victor Wimbenyama. Victor Wimbenyama. Yep. said Thursday he believes Britney Spears grabbed him from behind as he, as he was walking into a Las Vegas restaurant and that and that the security detail he was with pushed the pop star away. That ain't what I heard. I heard she got the fucking five finger so, pickle smack. Yep. So I heard they it slapped says, the shit yeah, out of her. It says Britney filed a police <laughs> report claiming that she was struck by the security guard while trying to get the attention of what's his last name? Victor Wimbin Victor Wimbin Wow that's hard. Wimbin Rama. Wimbin Yama. Wimbin Yama. Of According to TMZ, uh, first reported alleged details of the incident that took place Thursday night near a restaurant at the Aria Hotel and Casino. 
So apparently uh, they're at um so Spears summer, addri- summer League. Okay, okay. So Spears addressed the incident on her Instagram Thursday afternoon, saying it was super embarrassing to share with the world, but it's also out there already. Uh, Spears ref- refuted what's his last name? Wimbenyama. I cannot. Wemmy. Yeah, Wemby. Wemby. They, they call it Wemby. Oh, thank the Lord, bro, because I cannot <laughs> get your last name, Wemmy. Wemby? Wemby. Wemby. According to that, he, uh, a court account refuted, account. wait, Spears refuted Wemby. Was it Wemby? <laughs> you had it. Wemby's account that she had grabbed him saying that she just simply tapped him on the shoulder and that his security backhanded me in the face without looking back in front of a crowd, nearly knocking me down and causing my glasses to fall off my face. Okay. Yeesh. yeesh. Can I just Why say, did she think it was okay to touch him? Okay, hold on. I want, I, I, can, uh, can you do me a favor, please? Can you please bring up Britney Spears' height? Uh, she's, I would assume Can she's only guess? like 5'3". She's got to be 5'3". 5'5", five, five, right? five, maybe. Maybe 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. I mean, Britt, you are the Britney expert here. Uh, please. No, actually, she's more of a Christina, Christina oh, Are you fan. a Christina girl? I mean, honestly. Because I'm, I'm team I'm Christina. I'm not either. You know, I'm not really either. But really? I do go more for Christina. Than yeah, I was yeah. about to say, we've Likewise. had a night where we played some pop uh, shit. And you said you okay, five, four. I, she five, is 5'4". Four. Five, four. All right, do either of you know how tall Wimby, Wimby is? Wimby. He's probably like seven foot. Sam, go up. Seven five? He's seven fucking five. Jeez. There's no shit. She would literally have to come off the fucking ground to well, reach his shoulder. She, yeah, she's full of shit because she definitely grabbed his ass or something. I, that's what he's. That's what the report is basically saying. With, but with all due respect, there, who who isn't going to grab his ass? Everybody's Why? at waistline. Am I... Wait, hold on. That ain't right, though. Like, don't grab the man. No, remember I, we did Sam, the thing that was with, a joke. Oh, uh, I about to say, remember the serious. thing with Buster Rhymes that one time he threw the drink in the girl's face yes. for touching him? That it's that up, same right. instance. Like, so, but don't no, be no. touching yeah, people I mean, inappropriately. Don't touch people at that all. That was unfortunate, um, Britt, but I'm sorry. But there's no... I don't know. You, you tried I, to touch his shoulder seriously, honey? I know, girl. You could And even with heels the, on, you couldn't. The, the, you could attempt Sam, to sh- touch she his could shoulder stand blade. On you, and you'd barely be able to touch him. Um, <laughs> man, she could attempt to touch his shoulder blade, or maybe that's what she. Sam, you know, Brittany, Sam, she's he's going through it. Seven five. <laughs> his shoulder at shoulder length, he's probably seven foot. What do you think? There's she was no way to, she'd be able to reach what him. What do you think she was trying to do? I, Sam, I think she was probably just trying to get his attention. Maybe grabbed an ass full. Who First knows? Uh, Who knows? He looks a little too young for her. Way too young. Wow. So yeah, he, she's even smaller than that. Wow. Yeah. Right. So she's like by his hips. Literally by below his, his hips. hips. Below right, his exactly. hips. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> um, I don't know what she was attempting to do. Uh, uh, I don't know. She's not always in her right mind. Not making an excuse wow, for Britney. Dude, he is crazy. I'm not, yeah, tall. I'm not making an excuse oh for her, God. but he, she's not always in her right mind. I think she was trying to touch on him, and I think she got exactly what she fucking deserved. And you know, I love you, Britney. You know, we go way back. You know, oops, I did. You know, you my bitch. First off, she didn't say it like that. Yes, yeah, did she not? You, she so you're not a Britney fan, nigga. No, That's how she sounds. She was just like, oops, I did it again. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, that's how she sounded. She, you know, what's crazy? She, that's not her real singing voice. They made her sing like that. Yeah. First of all, I don't even think it's Britney. (laughs) What? What? You think it's her clone? That's what I was trying to say this whole time, but it's okay. Yeah, I think it's her clone. I think the real Britney's dead. Oh, is this how the real Britney's dead? What? Yes, I think the real Britney's dead. Where'd you learn this on TikTok? No, this myth has been out forever. Knowledge, okay? Common knowledge, Britney. Everybody knows. Look it up, but common knowledge. I, I, it's not common. Look at the back. Roll it up. Everybody, Everybody knows. This is Brittany. a legend. You mentioned Britney Spears. I gotta be Spears honest with you. This is shit that like only Britney losers like, like us would know. Barely even is Britney even here? Like Britney, unfortunately, I don't know when she passed. What? It's not Britney. Just like Kanye isn't Kanye. Oh God. And All right, we gotta you know stop know what? this. And that's how I feel. That's and Gucci how I feel. Man is not Gucci that's Man. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Camera, 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 camera. Holy shit! Not me. Whatever. Sam, are you you? Keep your I don't know. On Brett, you can you tell me if I'm me? Because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Remain ignorant. I don't care. <laughs> 
Ain't no one gonna tell me that it's fucking Kanye. Like, Kanye would have never wore that shit. Yes, he would have. He's fucking six something now. Kanye was mad fucking short. He he got, he like bought his ass he, from he, You know he wears like platform looks, shoes. Did you see this nigga's ass? You know he wears platform shoes, girl. He does. He wears platform shoes. Girl, so it makes him taller. Are, are, are we gonna really say that's fucking Kanye from the old Kanye? Girl, so he's he not old Kanye. Issues, he's got problems. He has mental issues. He's got problems. issues. You guys... What and I, he wears I, platinum I, shoes, so that makes him taller. Whatever, just stay blind. <laughs> stay blind. It's okay. I'm not gonna it's okay. listen. This and it's TikTok sad because I've been listening to Kanye a lot, but I was just like, damn, like we're never gonna have music from this nigga again. Like a clone can't take your talent. Like you know what I mean? Like he ain't about to be. Bruh. He ain't have no more music from this nigga. Like it's over. Like he's gone. He's gone. I'm. He's gone. Speechless. Uh, uh, yeah. No <laughs> he's words. Gone. No words. He's gone. Um, but <laughs> um, but let's uh. That's why I really think it is, and y'all. So, want to so you think Britney's clone ahead, sexually assaulted this basketball player? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. This clone uh, might be have to be yes. on the next episode of Nasty Notice. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was actually a nice segue. So the, uh, that was a nasty, good segue. That I said, good. Uh, Nasty Notice is a segment I do every week, exposing a predator, or pedophile. This week, alleged, alleged pedophile, pedophile. This week breaks my heart, and I know y'all heard of this one. Morgan Freeman. Huh? The voice of God, Morgan Freeman. Oh, Jesus so Christ. So allegedly, Ugh. he had a relationship with his step granddaughter. Now, how this worked was his first, it was his first wife's granddaughter that him and his second wife okay. raised. Him and his second wife raised as their own daughter, as a little girl. So he grew, allegedly groomed this little girl. How it came out is that when the second wife f discovered this, she had divorced him immediately. So in the divorce proceedings, in the, in the court documents, she put that allegation out there. She said the reason why she divorced him is because she found out that they were having a relationship. So why? Yeah, it's a it's it's all alleged, but I think it's true. There has been text messages that corroborated what is said. Um, actually, unfortunately, so the young lady's name was Adina um, Hymans, and she actually was killed in 2015 by her boyfriend. So I wanted to play this Inside Edition video about that just really quick. Go ahead, producer Bay. Adina Hines, Morgan Freeman's beloved granddaughter, often walked the red carpet at his side. She even told Inside Edition how good he looked. I'm a fashionable guy, he doesn't have to worry about it. But that smile was dim forever, cops say, by her yes. live-in boyfriend who stabbed her to death. It happened right here in the middle of the street. Adina Hines was reportedly stabbed 16 times with a hunting knife in what's being called a deranged act of exorcism by her boyfriend. The yes. suspect, Lamar Davenport, is an aspiring actor and wannabe rapper. He was said to be in a drug-induced haze so that's when the stabbing that. took place. So you, you can end that one. Yeah, it was, it's really sad. So, in, so when he murdered her, in those court documents, he also alleged that that was part of the reason why she was really depressed and one of the reasons that kind of almost drove him to well for one he was high on pcp and he said while he was high on pcp he saw the devil in her and he tried to perform an exorcism <laughs> in the street and killed and stabbed her 27 this, times yeah, yeah. I, I have not heard of this you, you never heard yeah. this yeah this was in 2015 now before ago. that yeah. it was it was already it was already reports of him and adina being together and people were like that's and i remember that verbatim it's not a fever dream i remember them coming out as a couple being together and this is his step granddaughter so you know he's been grooming this little he raised this girl like it was his daughter and then has sex with her mm. he groomed this girl so that's what the fuck his nasty ass is guilty of so morgan freeman you want nasty notice in the words of the infamous anton dotson hide your kids hide your wife and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here you're gonna, to, you're gonna have to change the end of that part though. Why? Because technically that's not rape. Grooming isn't rape? It's not a form of rape? A sexual assault? It's not? The, the, is grooming not a I'm form of sexual very, assault? I, it's so. It is. I, I, it, it, I do not so, use that word lightly, so. Well, that's I'm not, not a light shit. word I'm trying to use. You know how many. I have been attempted to be groomed as, as a young lady by older men. I understand that. They're, you know what groom is manipulating I've, I've a person watched, into having watched, sex with I've you, right? To make it seem like it's okay say, to have I've sex with them. I've watched these older men try to do that shit. Okay, Trust so me, I know these fucking mean, older men are creeps. So, 
I don't have oh, to wow. change I'm shit. Not a fool. So she told her boyfriend that. Yeah, she told him. They she knew about it for years. Oh wow! So that's why it came. It came. It came out so right. So that's why I think it's true because this was a second court documentation stating that he had relations with her. She, y'all, she was so in love with Wait, this man. Was it she the was boyfriend oh, no, 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 said, no, no. Hold me, on, I'm just asking Sam. Was it the boyfriend that said that she said it to him? Yes, and other family members of her side. Because remember, she's not blood related right. to, okay. to, to Morgan Freeman. Uh, again, I was just asking. Yeah, however, yeah, engage, yep. They so she was so manipulated and groomed and in love with the, with this man that she thought he was gonna marry her. She was trying to get pregnant, family members were saying. Wow. Like that's how <sighs> fucked up he had her in the head. And you know what? Things happen and neither one of these two, you know, her, her murder and what happened to her may, some people may say it's not related. I don't know for her to get into an abusive relationship with someone who abused these kind of drugs. Maybe, maybe if she wasn't groomed as a child, she never would have been in that situation. If she was protected by someone she thought was like her father, she wouldn't have been in that situation. So that's just my opinion, but yeah, it's awful. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yep. But if you like this episode, make sure you like this episode. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. Make sure you share. Minority plus one, baby. Man, I don't know. I don't feel like we should finish yet. Uh, uh, he's, he's your host, I'll Steve. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. So, you guys ready for it? You ready? Ready, Britt? Yeah. Okay. Everybody's favorite part. In wrapping up. <laughs> I'm your host, Steven. I'm Sam Crystal. It's pretty bitch. And as always, please, please stereotype, stereotype responsibly. responsibly. And we'll be back next week with another motherfucking argument in another motherfucking episode. Peace. 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 Thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of the Minority Plus One Podcast. If you want to be a part of the crew, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends. We are available on all streaming platforms so you never have to miss out. As always, please stereotype responsibly. We love you. We appreciate you. Peace, y'all. Shia. Yeah.